President, His Excellency Mwai Kibaki. Mr. Speaker, I will remember President Mwai Kibaki. As the President of this country, Mr. Speaker, and I remember him specifically, Mr. Speaker, because the Jamhuri Day of 2011, Mr. Speaker, the President awarded me the Head of State Commendation Award at the HSC, Mr. Speaker. That is why I use HSC. That is an award, Mr. Speaker, that I received in 2011 from the President, recognizing the work I do in my community, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, sir, on behalf of the great people of Migori County and on behalf of persons with disabilities that I represent, Mr. Speaker, in this house, I wish to send my condolences to the family and the people of Kenya. Mr. Speaker, persons with disabilities of Kenya are mourning the president, Mr. Speaker, who basically made their lives better in this country. Mr. Speaker, it is during Kibaki's time in 2003, Mr. Speaker, that the Persons with Disabilities Act was signed into law in this country, Mr. Speaker, and that has been a law that has made it easier for persons with disabilities of Kenya, Mr. Speaker, to actually have their lives and their rights recognized in this country. Mr. Speaker, it was during that time, and Mr. Speaker, going into 2008, when actually this country also, Mr. Speaker, as you may know, signed the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, Mr. Speaker, making life easier for persons with disabilities. Mr. Speaker, I am a life member of Maendeleo Yawanawake. Mr. Speaker, Maendeleo Yawanawake in this country, women of this country, Mr. Speaker, are proud of President Kibaki, Mr. Speaker, because you know that President Kibaki supported Maendeleo Yawanawake and supported women of this country, Mr. Speaker. We are mourning the loss of our president. Mr. Speaker, free primary education, Mr. Speaker. Children who would never have gone to school, Mr. Speaker, had an opportunity for the first time to access education, to see the classroom, Mr. Speaker, courtesy of our third president of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency, Mwai um, Kibaki. Mr. Speaker, for me, the first time I saw a superhighway was during his time, Mr. Speaker, coming to do a superhighway, thicker superhighway, superhighway infrastructure. Mr. Speaker, we must give credit where it is due. And Mr. Speaker, I salute President uh, Mwai Kibaki, and I ask that his soul rest in eternal peace. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Member for Kandui. Sorry, honor members, uh, I'm still trying to, <laughs> to coordinate out there. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I wish on behalf of my family, the people of Kandui, and the entire Democratic Action Party, to send uh, condolences to the family, uh, friends, relatives, and Kenyans uh, for the loss of uh, President Emilio Mwai Kibaki. Mr. Speaker, I had the privilege of uh, serving with President Kibaki during the eighth parliament when he was my leader of opposition between 1997 and 2002. Mr. Speaker, I also had uh, the privilege of having served with him as my president, as both member of parliament, and also as his special envoy to the African Union and Somalia, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this is a great man, a great leader Kenyans have lost. He was a pillar of stability, Mr. Speaker. We all are aware of uh, the things he has done for this country, ranging from free primary education, growing our economy, Mr. Speaker, building stable infrastructure, ensuring roads across the country, Mr. Speaker, and above all, making Kenya a liberal and, um, a liberal and open society with expanded democratic space. Mr. Speaker, as you are aware, he was the leader of the Democratic, Democratic Party of Kenya, the party you now lead, the party